Paytech is one of the largest communications companies that you've never heard of. We're a competitor to Verizon, AT&T. And over the last 10 years, we've uh, introduced additional products and services. We're now a data center hosting company. We're an equipment VAR. We're actually a software business as well, but we focus on medium large enterprise customers and we just try to provide a higher level of service than the competition. We use Cisco consistently in our network because Cisco uh, is a leader in the space. Uh, it gave us technology that we knew would uh, deliver success. It delivered value to us, to our customers. Uh, it, it was a platform that we knew how to manage, uh, and it was a platform that uh, uh, worked reliably and honestly took us to market uh, and gave us uh, you know, guaranteed success uh, when we were done with the deployment. Cisco helps offer us a suite of services to enable a, a variety of different value propositions that can range from creating these customer premise equipment, integrated access devices and routers, which we then turn into a rental program. So every time someone buys network services from us, whether it's SIP trunking, MPLS or security, we've created a cost structure and a value proposition that enables a great outcome for our customers to get a suite of services at a very competitive cost structure and price point that matches to our value of personalized solution. We've always believed at Paytech that you need to have a best-in-class network infrastructure to really provide solutions for the long run for your clients. And when we're together with Cisco on a sales call with a new client or an existing customer that wants to uh, enhance their, their network, uh, we always talk about the total cost of ownership, the total value that's provided with a Cisco Paytech combination. It's just not the upfront uh, pricing of the project. It's also how reliable that solution will be, how much maintenance and support you're going to have to get into. With Cisco's help, we'll start looking at, at the end of Q4, services around HCS, more applications as a service, and more platform as a service. Those are what customers are asking us to take a look at. Our customers, again, are trying to think about what, is, what are applications that they can port into our data center that they know will be um, supported. Over the next five years, you know, Paytech will still remain a very large network communications company, but we're seeing the future growth coming from the cloud offerings and really helping people to save money and extract more value from their IT budgets. And we also see ourselves doing more on the managed services side to really help people focus on what their internal communications needs will be.